Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is a little bit different from my usual plan with me's. This is basically how I set up my traveler's notebook. I know that I said this week I was going to do a hand lettering video, but actually, as many of you guys know, I recently flew back to Vancouver for summer break and I was really stubborn and I didn't want to call an Uber to the train station, so I pulled my luggage for like 30 minutes to the train station and now my arms are really really sore and i can't properly hand letter anymore which is just awesome so i am gonna push that video back for a week or two um but i hope you guys enjoy this video anyways right now i'm just working on the inserts um, I'm using a combo of inserts from Annie Plants Printables and also just some inserts that I designed for myself. To cut the inserts, I'm just using a guillotine paper trimmer and this is going to sound super dramatic, but I think this is like the best planner slash scrapbooking equipment that I have invested in and it's not actually that expensive, it's about $20 Canadian and it just makes cutting inserts and doing all sorts of crafting so much easier so i would definitely recommend it if you don't have one already otherwise you can also just use an exacto knife or scissors to cut your inserts also a small disclaimer um i was a little bit selfish with my setup and a lot of the things that i show in this video you can't really get anywhere because i just designed them or i drew for myself I honestly can't remember the last time I just sat down and crafted and planned by myself and did what I want to do. So yeah, I'm really sorry that some of the things are just unavailable. Um, but if you guys are interested, I can definitely do like a setup with me video in the future where I make sure that everything is available to purchase if you want. Anyways, to finish up the inserts, I just folded all of them in half and to make a crisp fold, I just use like a pen to um, run it across and then I take two paper clips and clip them together and then use my stapler to make three staples down the middle. So for this setup, I have five sections, a monthly, a lists, weekly, ideas, and miscellaneous. So these are some plastic covers which you can get from 1407 planners or the Foxy Fix and basically this is how I decorate my planner. So I am just picking out some journaling cards and I am going to trim them to size. This one says do not worry and be happy and these are the bean cards that I include in all of the orders in my shop but if you do see a design that you like, you can buy it separately in my shop if you want. I will definitely link it down below. Anyways, it doesn't really matter that there are texts on the back because I am going to line up two journaling cards together and use my tape burner. The really pretty cherry blossom one is from Two Little Bees and yeah, I'm just cutting a bunch of different journaling cards and papers. I am just also eyeballing everything because I'm super lazy, um, but if you want everything to be a little bit more cohesive, you can definitely measure it out. These papers that I printed out on photo paper, I actually drew myself and they're just this super pretty pastel stars pattern and I really like how that turned out. After you accumulate a good chunk of pretty patterns and journaling cards, we can start decorating, which is honestly my favorite part. So starting off, I'm just taking one of the um, papers that I drew and I am taking this custom die cut from the Fox and Pip. It just says Helen on it and the girl has black hair, so I thought it was really fitting. And I'm also layering on top a 2019 Emoti die cut from my shop. And the tape runner that I'm using is from Japan, so I don't really know if you can get the exact same one here, but honestly, I think any tape runner should do the trick. And I also don't coat the entire back of the die cut with the tape runner because I want to be able to reposition everything and save the die cut for future use. This back side is my absolute favorite dashboard. I basically just printed six of my favorite photos of my friends and family and I cut them out into little squares and arranged them into a little gallery. If you guys are wondering what I'm using this planner for, it is literally my traveler's notebook. So anytime I travel or just something eventful is happening, I like to use this planner. 
Um, so yeah, I really wanted some photos of my family in there just because I want to take them with me wherever I go and that's kind of cheesy, but yeah, I really like how that turned out. And then moving on to my next dashboard, I am just using the donut pun um, bean card from my shop, which is one of my favorite designs. And on the back, I'm just gluing down a shimmer paper from Sparkly Paper Co. And this is my little nod to Marvel. So Maria from Two Little Bees asked me to make a pink version of Iron Man. And I just thought it turned out really funny. So I printed it out and I also drew a post-it note and I wrote I love you 3000 on there, which is a quote from Endgame. And that is my little Marvel dashboard. And then moving on to my next one, this green floral paper is from Hello Petite Paper. And on it, I am putting down a Helen vinyl that I got from C. Amy Draw, which is so pretty. I'm just applying that towards the bottom. And the emoji is a custom one that I drew for myself and it's supposed to look like me. On the back, I'm just keeping it simple with a single emoji die cut because I'm going to stick some things in the little pocket. The clear pocket is an adhesive pocket from Target and Annie from Annie Plants Printable sent them to me. In the pocket, I just stuck in some foiled emoji heads and also a May calendar die cut from my shop and you can also get the free printable version in my Facebook group if you're interested. For the second dashboard, I'm just putting together another bean card from my shop and one of the papers that I drew and on top I am using a die cut that once again I drew. It is of me and my mom. Moving on to the third one, I am gluing down this free printable for my Facebook group. It just says, I love you very much, which is one of my favorite puns. I just think it's so cute. And that journaling card is from Hello Petite Paper. And then taking another paper from Hello Petite Paper, I just put down a rainbow emoji die cut towards the bottom. I'm keeping it really simple because later on, I'm just going to put some sticky notes up top and you'll see what I mean later. Again, in the pockets, I'm just sticking in some little knickknacks. Moving on to the fourth section, I am taking another journaling card from my shop. You guys are probably so tired of me saying that, um, but I just slid that into the back pocket. And then for the front, I am gluing together two journaling cards from Simply Gilded. And the front cover already has a vinyl emoji from a previous setup. And it's actually so fitting because the Simply Gilded journaling card says happy and the emoji looks really happy. So yeah, I really like how that turned out. So now that we are done with all four sections, I am just gonna do some finishing touches. I made these cardstock tabs and basically before I started filming and while I was just prepping everything, I kind of had a mental account of what I want the inserts to look like. So I made all of the tabs in order and I was able to make them into a rainbow gradient because of that and I think it ended up looking really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just folding it over and sticking it onto each of the inserts. I did mess up a little bit and I didn't leave any room for me to actually stick it onto the insert if that makes any sense. Um, so if I were to redo it, I would definitely allow some more room for me to apply the glue. Also, I always like to have a little blank insert towards the back of my setup. This one is from Simply Gilded. And I'm always thinking of sticker ideas and just little sketches, so I need a sketchbook with me at all times so those ideas don't escape my mind. So now that I'm finished with all of the tabs, I am going to start putting everything in my planner. So I have the FlexiFix pocket with the wide spine, so it has four elastics, but I do have an extra elastic which I can loop two inserts together and loop it under the four elastics so my planner can hold six inserts instead of four. And I really do like it when a planner is a little bit chunkier, so um, I always like to do six inserts. And the base of the planner is done. I am going to show you guys a DIY sticker pocket because I do want to carry some stickers with me. I had some scraps of paper that I drew, so I'm just cutting it up and making it into the size of my sticker sheets. I do have a version of this printable in my Facebook group, which is much easier to use because it has all of the cut lines. This one, I was just kind of doing my 
my own thing and I messed up a few times but it worked out at the end so it's all good um basically I just cut it into this shape I'm not even gonna try to explain it you can sort of see the shape um and I just folded over the overhang towards the back and used my tape runner once again to fold it over and glue it down and now I have a perfect little planner pocket. I just put in a few sheets of stickers that I want to carry around. And to jazz up the front of the sticker pocket, I put down another vinyl from C. Amy Draw. And also this Emoti die cut holding a heart balloon, which I thought was really cute. I then just put that in the back pocket of my planner. And now I'm whipping out some vellum. This is one of those unnecessary things, but I really like how it looks, so um, I just cut them to size and overlapping them around some of the inserts. The bow one is from the Fox and Pip, and the polka dot and the solid pink one I made myself. You can buy plain vellum from Amazon and just print out whatever patterns you want, and it's really, really cool. Next up, I'm going to show you guys how to make your own washi cards. There are a lot of ways you can make your own washi cards. You can just take a piece of cardstock and laminate it, but you guys know me, I am very lazy and I didn't want to heat up the laminator machine, so instead I just cut up this piece of cardstock and I'm using just some plain clear tape and running it across the cardstock and basically the tape is going to be the barrier between the cardstock and the washi so when you actually use a washi the washi and the cardstock is not ruined um so i just picked out three of my favorite designs and i just rolled it around the washi card a few times and yeah i really like how that turned out as well i'm not too sure how practical this is but um it was just a really cool idea that i had um, so the three washies that I'm using is from Fox and Cactus, Simply Gilded, and Hello Petite Paper, and they are all super pretty foiled washies. I stuck the washi card in the front card pocket, and in the inside, I actually put in two pages of sticky notes from my shop. Um, and on it, my sweet parents just wrote some notes, and I definitely want to carry that with me everywhere, so I just stuck that back there. And then the last DIY, it's super simple. I just took a piece of cardstock from Hello Petite Paper and also this clear bow tab from Planner Press and made my own little page tab bookmark thing. And that is basically it for my setup. Do keep in mind that as I use this planner, I'm going to start adding in some more random inserts and things to flesh out this planner some more. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am going to put on some music and you guys can just watch my flip through. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!